I think tonight I'm going to have a nightmare. <laughs> Just because I have a very, very annoying news to tell you. The CCSA, they said that anybody who got Thailand Pass with the test and go, they're going to consider it again on the 15th of January. Please don't kill me. <laughs> <laughs> it's me, Teya Sutira. Today, I don't feel like fun at all to have this news for you. Uh, just let me tell you directly that uh, today, CCSA announced that the um, test and go program, anybody who already got an approve of test and go program, everyone are welcome to travel as the original plan. So any of you who are coming here, you can come here. But they said on the 15th of January, they're going to see again if the, they're going to continue to let you who already got an approved of Thailand Pass of Test and Go to come or not. So for Test and Go, as we recapped on Friday, those who have already received the QR code for the test and go and are traveling to Thailand by the 15th of January 2022 can still do so, can still do so at, uh, as per their approved uh, schedule. But of course, uh, given the global outbreak of Omicron variant, uh, adjustment and measures might be possible. As for new registration uh, under the test and go scheme, uh, which has been suspended indefinitely and subject to assessment of the international outbreak of the Omicron variant. As for the, a lot of talk about the cutoff date, so we've made that clear already that those who have received their QR code prior to this and traveling by 15th of January, you can still do so, of course. But those who have received their QR code prior to this already and you're traveling after the 15th of January, uh, that is being considered by the authorities here at the CCSA, wh wh whether that will be possible to travel to Thailand after the 15th of January with a QR code that uh, you already have or, or not. I just feel like, what are you doing? Why you you're doing this? I, I don't know what to say. <laughs> I would rather speak Thai. <laughs> and shout at them because this is the most unprofessional that I have ever seen for Thai tourism. I don't know, I, I don't want to complain with you, but um, what I want to say is that um, yesterday, two days ago, it was already a Royal Gazette. They said that the uh, anybody who are traveling to Thailand as test and go, uh, you are allowed to come here, but the uh, they're going to change or consider this depending on the situation. So it's just like they're open to, they don't say like, we're not going to change at all, but it's just like, we let you come, but uh, we will see. It's depending on the situation, we will see. So that is what they said in the uh, Royal Gazette. And also I write to ask in the, uh, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs that I heard the news that they're going to cut off um, the 15th of January for anybody who got approved of test and go not allowed to come here after 15th of January. Uh, this morning I already got a confirmation from the Minister from the Ministry of Foreign Affairs that everything is all good you you can come here but um, until the further, uh, until the further notice, it means that they open it for for the change. So they still don't know they're going to keep letting any of you who got test and go to come. I mean, everyone or not. But what is for sure is definitely on the 15th of January, any of you who come here before 15th of January, you definitely can come. But on the 15th of January, any of you who are traveling after you have to follow this news because of the, they may say yes, or they may say no. They may just make you get too excited. 
<laughs> I don't know why do they do this. I mean, it's really, really ridiculous. Anyway, look at my face again. <laughs> it's time to bed, but I just feel like I have to tell you this news. And again, even though it's a bad news, it's a good news, I still have to tell you. I mean, for myself, I feel very embarrassed about what happened here. But I still have to tell you because of the in case you haven't heard about this news and uh, you are about to come here and in case information change is going to be very bad and I don't want to be that person to make a mistake. Yeah, so I just try my best. I hope you understand my side that I try my best to give you information as quick as I can. So this is all I want to tell you. And um, I think uh, you better share to your friends, anybody you are traveling here after 15th of January, they may want it to be aware that they have to definitely follow the news from the CCSA again, that if you are okay to come or not. I'm very, very sorry about this. <sighs> I don't know if I can sleep. <laughs> I think you too. But <laughs> we all have to sleep. Good night, guys. That's all I want to say. Bye.